Hey guys, this is Landon from RH. In this video, I'm going to walk through the project folder structure that we use here at RH. I'm doing this, we've got a couple new people coming on board. So I told one of my project surveyors, Elena, that I would help her with this video. I'm surprised I hadn't done this before. I, I checked the YouTube channel and I, and I didn't see this on there. Uh, so that that surprises me. I apologize. I thought it was already done. So we're going to do it now. So I think I might I might do a couple different videos here. In this video, I'm just going to walk over the basic folder structure. I might do a follow-up video that deals specifically with how we handle the CAD drawings. Or I may I may let Elena watch this video and then and then ask her if she wants to do that follow-up video. We'll see. So I've got an example project here. This is the uh, the job number, 999-100 in the job name. That's our standard way to name jobs, job folders. So this is a survey, boundary survey of Neverland. That's where Peter Pan lives, if you don't remember. So we're going to open that up. And this is the set of top level folders that we have. You will not typically see these. I think Elena just has these in here uh, as an example. So just ignore these files. So there, there usually isn't any files in this top level, at the root of this top level folder here. Okay, so we're gonna go through these uh, one at a time briefly. And we're gonna try and keep this under 10 minutes. So billing folder, that's where we keep all the information about our invoicing and job budgeting and job costing. Most of you most of my technical folks don't need to get in here, but my project coordinators and my project surveyors uh, will get in here. Uh, every invoice uh, goes in a folder here. Then we might have some other some other budgeting and uh, budgeting info and some other information on invoicing for for larger jobs. We might have uh, some spreadsheets in here that we're using to, to track budgets and invoices. So that's what goes in the billing folder. The boundary folder is where we keep our information for boundary surveys. Kogos go in here. Easement deeds and other um, easement deed Kogos will go in the easement mapping folder. The research folder has deeds. We separate those into the deeds for the subject parcel and adjoiners and easements. Filed survey maps going here. This is records of survey parcel maps and subdivision maps in California. Then we have our tax assessor maps. So that's all our boundary research. Then we have our standard set of what we call base drawings for the boundary survey. So that's line work, hatch, annotations, our search drawing. I'm not going to get into that in this video. We'll do a separate video on that. So that's the information for our boundary mapping. It goes in this folder. This is the, the the base drawings. The Carlson folder is uh, files specific to Carlson survey, which is what we use for our survey drafting. So things like point import and uh, map kogos and surfacing, digital terrain models, alignments. So that goes in the Carlson folder. I won't get into detail about that. We can talk about that in the video on our CAD drawings. The communications folder is for communications with clients and other business partners or other stakeholders on the job. It's pretty simple. We have an in and an out and then important communications go in here. You can see an example here. On June 28th, we sent our ROS to the county surveyor. So then the email and the other documents will go in there. So that's how we track communications. The contract folder holds the original contract. Any additional service contracts will go in here. There might be information about insurance. We try and copy over the proposal docs. So your scope of services will be in here. Not all jobs will need an environmental folder. We have that folder in here for things like uh, CEQA and other types of environmental regulation that we might be helping the client with that will go in this folder. The field folder is for all of our field data. So we have the control folder. This is where we keep our TBC projects information on our control. 
IFC is in from crew. That has a folder for every day we, we go out in the field. We have an out to crew folder. That's where we put our field packages. So each field package goes in a, in a folder with the, with the date. And then we might have uh, things like tailgate meeting forms or vehicle inspection forms that go, on, that go in the safety folder depending on the job. The flood folder is uh, if we're helping the, the client with uh, flood hazard management on the project. So not every project will, not every job will get one of these, but this is if we're doing an elevation certificate or a LOMA or LOMAR, or doing another flood hazard analysis. This GIS folder, there shouldn't be a lot in here because most of our GIS information is kept on a separate server. But this, this you might have some temporary files that go in this, uh, in this folder. Um, if we're if we're using GIS data in some CAD drawings, there may also be some GIS drawings in here. So these are CAD drawings with GIS data. We'll we'll go over those in a different video. Land title. This is where we stick the title report primarily in the Poultris or the title report analysis sheet if we have one. There may be other information related to land title like chain of title docs that would go in here. Land use, that's where we keep information on zoning, general plans, uh, other land use regulation information would go in here. If we got a zoning report or we prepare our own zoning report, it would go in the land use folder. Okay, so the mapping folder, I'm going to come back to in a minute. The scanning folder is for when we do terrestrial scanning. Um, most of our jobs won't have that. That's fairly, uh, that we don't do a, a ton of scanning just because we don't do a ton of topographic mapping. Uh, the topo folder is like the boundary folder, so this is where we keep base drawings for topos. You can see Elena has some of those in here. This might get some subfolders depending on the complexity of the job. We'll go over those drawings in a different video. So just remember, for most of our projects, boundary and topo are where we keep our base drawings for CAD. That's our line work and our annotation and our hatch drawings. And the reason I, I wanted to wait on the mapping folder is we actually put together our deliverables so our records of survey, our existing condition exhibits, our tentative maps, our subdivision maps, those get, get put, plats and legals, those get put together in the mapping folder. So this is where our deliverables go. So you can see some, Elena has some examples. Existing condition exhibit, land description package, lot line adjustment, land title survey, parcel map record survey, TPM, tentative parcel map. There could, excuse me, there could be other things in here like final parcel map. So that's where we actually put the deliverables that go to the client. Uh, we have this UAV folder here. There usually won't be a lot in here because if we're if we're working with the UAV, it should be that data should be on our data drive, that separate server with the GIS drive, with the GIS data. That's where we keep the the, the big heavy files. Uh, but you you will usually have the UAV ortho drawing in here, which will have uh, the actual UAV ortho images x referenced uh, x referenced into this drawing, so that they're they're easy for our CAD users to access, so you, we will usually have this UAV ortho drawing in here. These other folders won't typically be in here. Then we have the utilities folder. This is for when we do utility research and mapping. We don't do that on every job, but when we do do it, that information will be in here. That will be things like utility as-built drawings, utility-based drawings. And that's it. That's kind of an overview of our basic job folder structure. This could change, you know, if we have a unique type of project, this could change. If we have a larger project, we might we might add some subfolder structures to this. This is this basically covers 90 or 95% of what we do here at Redefine Horizons. And so we're doing boundary mapping, some type of topo topographic mapping, some, maybe some GIS mapping, and some utility mapping, and then we're preparing some kind of deliverable for the client. On the occasional project, we're dealing with CEQA or FEMA or land title issues. And so that's why those have those other subfolders. So I hope this was helpful for my new hires and also gives other surveyors that might watch this an idea of how they might structure their job folders. Like I said, we'll do a follow-up video and talk specifically about how we structure our CAD drawings.